We are less than 30 minutes away from going green here at the XL in East London. The excitement is mounting, the tension is building. I am a big fan of racing, but I have never actually been to a Formula E event. But I think what Formula E are doing is moving away from fossil fuels and moving towards sustainable energy. I think it's a really incredible event. Um, it's obviously a step in the right direction because there can be so much more done, but I'm just very excited to be here and to see all of the movements in technology made in racing. I think it's really cool. People are so excited for what we're about to see because it's the first time that any motor race has gone outside to inside, inside to outside. Formula E has a purpose. And um, there are many people around the world, and particularly celebrities, they want to help this purpose. They want to be part of it. People like Leonardo DiCaprio, who was with us from the beginning, people you know, like uh, Cara de la Vigne, who is here today in London, make our task easier, they amplify the message. They have a reach that goes to millions and millions of people. And that is very important because we, you know, we do a big thing here in London today with electric cars, with races, but if nobody learns, if nobody hears about it, uh, we don't have the same impact. I think everyone is now, they are conscious of their carbon footprint. They want to try and be as green as possible and support green sports. And this is just the perfect way of doing this. We have lots of famous faces because they really believe in the bigger picture. They believe in the cause. That's why I joined, you know. I was a petrol head, <laughs> but I was also an environmentalist. And I realized that there is a, a much a bigger issue here at stake. And it's just wonderful to be a part of it and be able to support this, um, this real movement towards a, a greener future. that people should use celebrity or fame for is to make the right messages. This is a, a very small insight into what needs to happen. And obviously this is just a small glimmer of change. But again, we, this is not enough. There's so much that needs to be done. But if people can use their fame and use their celebrity to put you know, an image or a light into the right direction, that's what they should use it for. I think it's really amazing to see how many celebrities are using their platforms for the greater good. And I think that the celebrities that do do that have a stronger connection with their fans because they know that they are you know, switched on, they're aware of what's going on and they want to, to help um, contribute to it more positively. The way the world's going, right, it's, it's all electric. It has to be that way. Soon enough, we're all going to be driving electric sort of mandatorily, right? So it makes sense for our sports to sort of follow the way our lives are going. Again, I understand why people love driving. I get it now. Oh, I love Formula E. <laughs> Everybody has a role to play. Then there is a second phase where business will make the real change. So first you have the activists, then you have the companies, the private sector, the big business need to change to make, to execute and to make real what the activists are asking for. This year in Europe, one every 10 cars sold will be cool electric. That's massive. Before, only two years ago, one every 100 was full electric. Hopefully in three years, three or four every 10 will be electric. Even if we made a small contribution to that, that will make me happy. This is the purpose of Formula E and so far, so good. <laughs> 